matter what you might think, everybody has a heart, even though sometimes it might be a little hard to believe. It beats and it keeps us alive. It's our engine. But all engines break down sometimes, and that's not so bad when it's just an engine. But when that engine is your heart, big problem. A new heart monitor is coming to life here at MSU, and Ramakrishna Mukamala is behind it. Describing how it works is a little complicated, and it's still a secret since it's awaiting clearance from the FDA before coming to market, so I can't say too much about it. But basically, his system means blood flow can be monitored without the catheter that's often inserted into the body and used to monitor blood flow. If a catheter is in place, this thing will take that information along with the data from monitors that just go on the outside of the body and give doctors a clearer, more accurate idea of what the heart is doing. It will also work with monitors that just go on the skin. It will be for anyone who has to be constantly watched for any changes in the beating of their heart. It'll come to life to extend life. Raytheon's monitor will ultimately measure minimally invasive and non-invasive physiologic signals, analyze the signals, to compute cardiac output based on patented algorithms and then display the cardiac output and other information to guide the physician in managing their patients. And as this idea comes to life here, it could just keep your heart going and help keep you alive out there, wherever you are. The idea is to save lives, keep hearts beating, and it's all happening because MSU's Ramakrishna Mukamala had an idea, an idea and the will to bring it to life.